This is the last topic for this week, but it gets complicated. Um, I'm gonna do this in two videos. This one's gonna be um, kind of the stimuli to, that, reg, that is trigger this regulation. And then we'll dive into these three phases of gastric activity. So this is thinking about stomach activity, gastric secretions, um, all those cell types we talked about in the gastric glands producing their stuff, acid, pepsinogen, gastric juices, what regulates that? And there's three different phases that have different stimuli um, at those three different phases. And you can see, you have a hint right here, one's gonna be like stimuli in the brain, stimuli in the stomach, and stimuli in the intestines. So this first phase is called the cephalic phase. Cephalic is your head and neck region, right? So this is actually occurs, um, the stimulus is what we're gonna focus on here. I just wanna do kind of stimulus. And then we're going to do more detail in the next video. The stimulus is, what do you think? Like the sight of food, um, even smell, and even the thought of food. That's why I can increase my salivation as well as actually gastric juices. I can't tell that, but by just thinking about chocolate cake. So these are going to stimulate sensory receptors. So taste receptors, smell receptors. Um, the thought is going to just go to my cerebral cortex, go to my hypothalamus, and that can stimulate um, through the parasympathetic nervous system, stimulate digestion. So sensory receptors we'll put here, or cerebral cortex. So it can be like uh, you know the thinking. Either way, it's going to go to the hypothalamus, vagus nerve. So this is the parasympathetic nervous system that actually I should have my vagus nerve go in this way. It's increasing digestive processes, gastric secretion in this case. And you already know what the parasympathetic nervous system does that. The opposite is also true in this phase. So if you have a loss of appetite, depression um, inhibits this process to decrease parasympathetic activity. So the opposite can occur even at the cephalic phase. The gastric phase is triggered by the presence of food in the stomach. That makes sense. We wanna be able to regulate gastric secretions based on that. These are all things that make sense, right? It's really nice we have these different ways. So this can either be chemicals, the food chemicals themselves, or a stomach distension, right? So stretch. So stretch receptors, these are gonna trigger either chemoreceptors or mechanoreceptors to trigger either short or long reflexes. We'll go into this more. Um, to stimulate, again, I'm gonna put positive here. Right now I'm looking at positive stimuli. Um, the opposite at this phase can happen. So you could have excess, excessive acidity, really acidic stomach, emotional stress um, can inhibit this phase right here. Come back to that one later. Okay. Oh, the one other one is this can also, so the chemicals, another mechanism is, is endocrine. So we can trigger those G cells. This is separate from that endocrine reflex. Um, this is going to inhibit, I'm sorry, stimulate gastric secretions through gastrin release. So we'll come back to that. But so it can be either be an endocrine or a nervous response at that gastric phase. I swear I'm trying to keep it simpler here. Lastly, We've got the intestinal phase. So we had kind of a start of digestion, increase of secretions. Um, when food hits the stomach, bunch of increased secretions to digest. Um, as we get to the intestine, we wanna be able to regulate gaseous secretions depending on the, the condition of that chyme that's entering the small intestine. 
So if there is partially digested, well, there is partially digested, I'm gonna call it chyme, it's food, um, in the duodenum. Or stretch of duodenum. So literally as food enters and there's some stretch there. This is going to um, briefly, even do that for now, briefly stimulate gastric secretions followed by an inhibition. So positive, then negative. As we have distension of that duodenum, the presence of fats, acidicness, um, hypertonic, so very like salty, even if that's not oversimplified, um, we're gonna want to start shutting down stomach activity slightly in order to um, prevent more stuff from coming into the intestine. It's, it's kind of like negative feedback. So we're gonna have various um, reflexes and processes that decrease gastric secretions. The two I will just name, one is gonna be an enterogastric reflex both short and long reflexes that are going to inhibit gastric secretions. We've also got hormone release. From where are we talking about? From the small intestine, the duodenum. There's two hormones from the duodenum we'll talk about. Um, CCK, choleocystokinin, choleocystokinin, and secretin. 